Yes, 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 yes. Hello, guys. Not to Asia once again, and I'm gonna give my thoughts on. Of course, if you know me, I'm a WWE fan to some extent. Daniel Bryan retiring. Yes. So, for people who watch Raw, and especially if you followed Daniel Bryan on Twitter, he made an announcement that he is retiring, and then he made an appearance at the end of Raw, and yeah, it's official. He is retired. As of yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, at age 34, Daniel Bryan is no longer a wrestler. He retired. And why? Uh, because of history of concussion. If, he, if he's still trying to further his wrestling career, he probably could, could get hurt really bad. So that's why, for the sake of his wife, Brie Bella, and again, being a family man, now he wants to be a family man. Yeah, you don't want to basically hurt yourself more. So... Yes, it is unfortunate to some extent, but you know, if you if your health is basically in danger, you know, you got sometimes you got no choice. You just have to say, "Hey, I love what I'm doing, but I can't do it anymore because of my health." So, again, hashtag thank you, Daniel Bryan. He's very, for a wrestler. The reason why I like this guy, he reminds me of Little Mac and Punch Out. He's a little guy, but he never backs down. He's basically representing the ordinary guy. He's not muscly. He has, he's not that, well, to some extent, famous. He's not well-known like The Rock. He's not like a big guy like Brock Lesnar. Just an average guy, a friendly guy that inspired a lot of people. And that's why this guy is so popular. And thank goodness in WrestleMania 30, he finally made an event. Awesome. He wrestled twice, and he made an event in WrestleMania 30. And that for a while also kind of made me take off. Like WWE, they didn't want to push this guy because the reason is, because I guess I'm just going to assume that the upper management in WWE, the shareholder, the stockholder that's paying WWE's bills, that's making WWE money to some extent, you know, they think it has to be fictional, cartoony, like, like a Street Fighter character, muscly, big. So they always think of Hulk Hogan. That's why the steroid story, John Cena, Randy Orton, yada, yada, yada. But no, Daniel Bryan is just an average build, but the guy has a big heart. So that's why. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw the end of Raw and even the extended one on WWE Network, you know, kind of sad, made me cry a bit. But again, it's going to be a new story for Daniel Bryan. So, I mean, yeah, it's, he's no longer wrestling. But it doesn't mean he doesn't. It doesn't mean that he won't be appearing on WWE. Look at Edge. Look at Christian. The, um, Santino Morella. So just because you just because you can't wrestle, it doesn't mean he can't be part of still WWE. So he could be maybe a good storyline if he's willingly be a like a storyline with the authority. He's the new GM. He's the guy new in charge. Something like that. Or maybe as a show, give him a show at uh, WWE Network. You know, I mean, just, just be just be part of WWE. That's all that really matters now at this point on. Because remember, there are other people that's probably going to be... I mean, it's not going to be the same as Daniel Bryan, like what he accomplished. But there are some people that's trying to be close to him. AJ Styles. He's in WWE right now. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, there are other. New Day... The Usos, you name it. So there'll be going to be someone else. But you know, there's not going to be another Daniel Bryan. But what Daniel Bryan did in his, I think he said 18 years in WWE or in wrestling career, he did a lot. He was part of WrestleMania. He won a lot of championship belts. The World Belt, the Unified Belt, Tag Team, U.S., Intercontinental. So, you know, he actually... Won a lot of belts, so again, kudos to Daniel Bryan. That's why I like the guy. That's why I'm a fan of his. His basically his. Well, it's not even a gimmick. I can't say like a gimmick, but it's what he does. It's what's true to himself. Again, he reminds me of Little Mac. That's why. Yes, 
Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, again, the reason why he needed to retire was because of his concussion. Yeah, there was a story that a lot of doctors said that he was okay to wrestle, but WWE wrestlers said, or doctors, excuse me, WWE doctors said, mm, no, uh, we don't know, man, we're not sure. So he decided to check up again, and yeah, apparently that his brain is not really 100%. He could get a concussion if he wrestled, like, further. So, again, he had no choice. Again, just like Edge, if he continued to wrestle, he could probably break his neck. Same goes with Cinto Morella. The reason why he retired wrestling is he got a chronic neck injury. Same thing with Edge. Um, Christian, from what I heard, according to Paddy and his punk, that, yeah, Christian stealthily basically retired. Yeah, he's no longer wrestling. But again, like Edge and Christian, they're still part of WWE as al alumni host. They have their own show coming in WWE Network, so maybe Daniel Bryan could do something. So, you never know. So, to Daniel Bryan, thank you, Daniel Bryan. It was one of the reasons why I kind of enjoy watching WWE, because every time you're there... It was really just interesting to watch the show. Again, you know, it, it may be unfortunate, maybe not. I don't know, but again, you know, you have a new life now, a new story. I guess be a family man, I guess. I don't know. So, hashtag, thank you, Daniel Bryan. So, since it's related to WWE, I want to give this one a quick thought about it. And it's basically about up, up, down, down. And Assassin's Creed, basically, this is going to be a response to Assassin's Creed. Because on Twitter, one guy asked, how come Up Up Down is not part of the WWE Network? Assassin's Creed basically gave the awesome answer that I agreed. And he just basically said, because, you know, I want wrestling fan and non-wrestling fan to like the show. Because, again, even so Up Up Down Down is about video game. Unless, to some extent, if you're a WWE fan, you'll know these people. But as just say you're a gamer and you don't know WWE and you're trying to watch this, that's kind of challenging. Like, why watch this? Why not IGN? Why not GameSpot? Why not Giant Bomb? There you go. But it is entertaining, I can tell you. Just up, up, down, down without the O's. You'll see a show. It is cool because it's wrestlers just being true to themselves. No acting, no gimmick. It's just them by themselves. Pretty awesome. I say, yeah. I mean, you have a chance. Watch it. So I agree with Austin Creed because not every gamer or WWE fan. And say if they do become part of WWE Network, that's going to be a lot of more legal issues. going to be probably in my opinion because to not tell the even show that it is just an independent show. There are some part up say that he's going to use for the sake of entertainment. Emulator. And if you know the rule about that, it is technically sort of illegal, but people don't really care because, just like anyone else, he's basically emulating all games. <coughs> uh, to some extent, it's what you would call it, free advertisement. So there you go, no harm done there, but it is entertaining. So if you have a chance, watch it. Assassin's Creed, good move that's not part of it, because if it is... Look what happened to Zack Ryder's um, internet show. The, it became part of WWE. I think something happened a bit, like the format changed a bit because of legal issue. So, again, just keep it as separate. Because, like I said, not every WWE gamer or WWE fan. So, anyway, thanks for listening on this WWE-related vlog.